Uh, welcome. Uh, great to see everyone. So many faces that we've collaborated before online and finally got to see each other in person. I'll be talking today about data lineage. So as Rafa mentioned, I'm from, from Cloud Composer. Google, we are managed Apache Airflow service in Google Cloud. So with a click, you get your Airflow instance you can, you can use. And today, I'd like to talk about data lineage. So data lineage, as we define it, traces the relationship between data sources based on the data movements, explaining how data was sourced and transformed in each step. So Cloud Composer, based on Apache Airflow, is one of the uh, systems you can imagine transforming and orchestrating the data, but there is obviously many more as the landscape of data processing is vast. So why do we even care? I mean, in this crowd, that might be preaching the preacher, but lineage is important for many reasons, and there are many challenges it answers that we see day to day with our customers. So for example, uh, as already mentioned in previous talks, we are not always sure about the data that we have. We are not always to understand easily how the data we have appeared there or how was it created using what assets. Imagine you're a data engineer and then someone asks you, okay, how did you get that report? Which data did you use to produce it? Where is this information coming from? Think about changing the data workflows that you have and wondering what happens if you alter your workflow. If I drop the data asset or if I add a new one, what happens if I change a column, if I remove it? Sometimes we hear from customers, you know, you do the change and then you pray that nothing bad happens, but that's not a very sustainable, reliable solution uh, because then when things go off, you really have a hard time debugging it and finding the root cause, which leads me to the third point, which is doing an effective root cause analysis. When things go off, when you change something, or even worse, when you don't change anything and you see things go off, then you need a tool to figure out how these data sources are connected, are, were there any recent changes in the workflows, are any of these systems down perhaps, or have, have any new assets been introduced into the landscape that can take, we see in, in the wild, up to multiple weeks due to the complexity of the landscape, due to the complexity of hundreds of workflows that work and flow interconnected in, in the industry. Another challenge that we see in increasing matter following the uh, legal pressure from European Union, GDPR, but also California Privacy Act and others, uh, is that being able to prove compliance uh, of your data processing with these legal acts. Uh, you don't want to just have faith in the system. You want to know and be able to prove to the legislators that what you're doing is all right, that you're not using the data sets for use cases others than the consent was given for this use case for, for these data sets. Uh, you want to prove that you are not uh, discriminating while you learning you, uh, while training your machine learning model. Uh, all these uh, questions uh, can be posed by legal uh, investigators and then you, you gotta prove what you do and how, how you do it. And yet another one, which is maybe a bit more forward-looking, is actually using all that information that, that can be collected through lineage-like uh, technologies to automatically curate process data. So not just you know, collect all the information about what processing you define and run, but also based on that information, decide what needs to happen afterwards. So imagine, okay, I have this data set coming from European Union country, Therefore, maybe I automatically apply some pseudonymization techniques. So the answer to all these challenges, uh, we believe, is data lineage. And until recently, uh, the technology in Airflow was as follows. So we had this experimental lineage backends technology, which let you define a lineage backend. And in that lineage backend, the core method you could, you could see is send lineage. That method would be invoked on any task completion and based on the operator instance and task and define inlets and outlets, uh, it would be able to process that, that information. Uh, the assumption was that it will package it somehow and send it to, to a lineage consumer, uh, like metadata catalog. 
the flow was as follows. You have your DAG, you have some, some processing, each of these tasks, and then the operator instance, task inlets and outlets are populated. They end up in the Airflow lineage backend. It packages it up as a lineage event and then sends it to some external lineage service uh, as Airflow does not have like lineage capabilities itself. And we leverage that with Cloud Composer. Uh, Dataplex is a data catalog in Google Cloud that offers rich lineage functionalities. So what we did is we implemented a dedicated Airflow lineage backends that takes that information from operators, packages it as Dataplex lineage events and sends it to Dataplex. So then with one click, you can enable that in your Composer Manage Airflow instance and get that lineage reported to Dataplex. But here is where Open Lineage comes in. So Open Lineage, I believe Maciek will be talking more about it in his talk, but it's an emerging standard in, uh, in the industry for Lineage, open source Lineage. By the way, that diagram stolen from Open Lineage website is not up to date. We should have Dataplex here as well, as Dataplex two weeks ago announced support for Open Lineage as well. But as you can see, Open Lineage uh, is supported by a number of technology that, the technologies that could produce Lineage, Airflow, Spark, DBT, uh, and others uh, to come as well. And then it can be consumed by a number of catalog-like technologies, Marquez, Egeria as an open source standard and others. In Apache Airflow, it used to be an add-on uh, with some limited, uh, limited uh, adoption, but since AP53, uh, it becomes more native first class citizen of, uh, of Airflow. Uh, with that, a lot of good uh, things uh, come, like modernization of its architecture, getting uh, rid of the extractors. Like in the past, we had this dichotomy of having the operators in one place, then extractors living in the other place. Okay, then the operators change. You need to go to change the extractors. So it's hard to keep track of things living in, in different, uh, different places. Now it's all in one place. Now it's all in, in the operators. So hopefully in the future, when we all here will develop new operators or modify the existing ones, we'll remember to add the lineage information as well as it, it will be local and then used by the framework. So Composer uh, will not stay behind and we are working towards migrating to, to, that, to that approach. Since Dataplex, uh, our uh, metadata catalog of choice, already supports open lineage, uh, we want to be exposing the metadata from Airflow through open lineage uh, framework. But we are not, you know, we'd love all of you to use Dataplex, but we are not vendor locking uh, you in. So if you prefer some other standard or technology, say Jira, whatever else, uh, you can do it. Composer will be open lineage uh, compliant. So whatever supports open lineage can be leveraged. That gives you a very open and pluggable environment and giving you the freedom to choose, you know, the technology that's most appropriate for your use case. Oops. So to give a bit more, bit more context in open lineage, it's getting adopted across the industry more and more, but also within Google Cloud itself. So we have Composer working to it. Two weeks ago, we had Dataproc, so our Google Cloud Spark, um, Spark job uh, runner also support open lineage and also integrate with Dataplex through that technology. So that is growing and we are happy to be part of the, part of the momentum. Uh, that would be it. I kept it short so we are not too late for lunch. Uh, any questions? Uh, not only those, there are other data lineage tools that I see our customers already have or want to integrate with besides open lineage. So does uh, Composer have any flexibility in being able to go ahead and add up those uh, that they might already have or have, might have already licensed or purchased? So since Composer will be integrating with Open Lineage, whatever that supports Open Lineage can consume that data. Uh, of course, out of the box, we'll provide you, you know, one click integration with Dataplex, which is, which is ours. Uh, lineage uh, catalog solution, but if you have any other that supports open lineage, you know, you just need to reconfigure it to, to use it. So, so for example, like uh, sticking to the previous presentation, potentially someone could uh, install the, the plugin for um, uh, for Data Hub and uh, stream the data, meta yeah. metadata to, to once, Data Hub. Yeah, once, once Data Hub supports open lineage, you know, you can place it here, you can have Airflow instance, say Composer Airflow instance, uh, exposing the information. <laughs> Hello, will one be allowed to send lineage events to multiple backends? 
uh, good question. Uh, yeah, to, to be decided. Uh, we don't have the answer at the moment, potentially. M maybe, probably you can't answer this, but can we hope for support uh, for some Google proprietary solutions like uh, Dataflow or stuff like that? So I cannot promise anything from here, but uh, we'll be talking. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Enjoy Thank you.